morning. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but it is our last day in Costa Rica. It's insane, and three months just like flew by, but I have a crazy travel day ahead of me, 15 hours to get back to Vancouver, Canada. Before that even starts, we're gonna go check out one last waterfall, because why not? We are stopping for some pastries because they're so damn good here and I need one more before I go home. Okay, do one pastel de pollo. These are so good. I like never eat pastry for breakfast, but... Now we're gonna go try and find this waterfall. Timing is a little tight, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we have about 30 more minutes before we get to the town where the waterfall is. We're not entirely sure where it is because we couldn't find super clear instructions online. Okay, found the waterfall. That was actually super easy. It was like right off the main highway. It cost us, what was it, eight US dollars each? Yep. Eight US dollars each to come in and that's a donation yeah. to the, whoa, ants. Oh my God, look at this. That is my actual worst nightmare. Ugh. Moving right along. So eight US dollars, it goes to the local community, which is pretty cool. One thing I don't like that happens a lot in tourist areas is a random dude will put on like a vest that has reflectors on it and pretend he's a parking attendant where parking is free and then proceed to try and tell you that you need to pay for parking when you don't. So just be aware of that if you're traveling to Costa Rica. We have only like 20 minutes to spend here because I gotta get to the airport in under an hour. A little bit crazy that we're doing this today, but I really wanted to see this before we left. Gotta do what you gotta do, right? Wow! That thing is gorgeous, isn't it? This is 30 minutes from Liberia Airport. If you have a flight out and it's leaving later in the day, why not come here? I don't even think I've told you what this waterfall is called yet. It's called Lano del Cortez. I will write that probably on the screen because I'm pretty sure I'm not saying it right. You took my love. Just definitely not as awe-inspiring as La Fortuna waterfall, but I could totally hang out here all day. I'm actually really sad that I don't have enough time to get in the water today. Kind of sucks, but we got to see it at least, and now we got to get to the airport. It's hot today. Already put my hair up in a delightful messy bun and we are making our way to the airport. There's like no convenient parking here. It's very strange. Super small airport. <laughs> pick up your bag halfway through the trip, but whatever, it is what it is. Uh, this right here is why I do everything humanly possible to avoid checking luggage. Before I got this shot, I literally watched like six other bags pile off one after the other and just fall to the ground and just no one gave a shit, like zero f**ks given. So yeah, just beware what you check because ain't nobody looking after your bag.
Toronto. Let's go find my luggage, we go through security and get our bits to Vancouver. All right, connections this way. the situation but I feel like today's vlog came on super quick I had no <laughs> warning for you that our trip was about to be just like totally over that's because I had some major major technical problems I don't even want to get into this I already raged about it due to technical issues there were supposed to be like three more blogs or vlogs whatever it's called before this one that's why this vlog is super sudden um, but my three months of living in Costa Rica is now up don't get me wrong I love Canada I love of where I grew up but uh ladies and gentlemen this is a game change announcement living in Costa Rica was freaking amazing if you've been following the vlog oh my god if you've been following the vlog you know how much crazy fun we were having in Costa Rica we really fell in love with Nosara in particular but living there was one of the coolest experiences of my entire life so yeah, that's the 411. Now I'm waiting for my next flight from Toronto to Vancouver, so that's another five hour flight. That's kind of the current situation. I'm uh, back in Canada. Had some seriously shitty airport food. I didn't even bother filming it. It was just nasty and super expensive. So tired, I'm not gonna lie. It's been a long day. back to Vancouver I am like <laughs> so delirious I'm so friggin tired today took like I don't know like 18 hours or something like that yeah like 18 hours I think I don't know I'm gonna end the vlog for today thank you for hanging out with me thank you for keeping me company on this hellish day of travel slash exciting morning adventure and yeah vlog over see you next time